I am an artist first and foremost, a designer, a writer, and an educator. You know, I'm not a painter that walks around seeing things that are beautiful and wants to recreate them. Generally speaking, it has to have a story to it that just sort of pulls me in and makes me want to put it out on a canvas. A lot of times that process can be very difficult, especially if it's really personal. <laughs> um, and so you have to be willing to go through that difficult experience of staring at and remembering something that may be hard, but also on the other side of that is a lot of healing, so it's helped me a lot to heal. My father came to the United States in the 1970s as a student. Um, he was in school in India before, but then he wanted to come to the U.S. Some of his friends were here in Oklahoma, and, um, and he was killed by police officers. There's a painting of my father and I that I painted, uh, a scene that never really happened because he died before I was born, but I painted myself in his arms because it's something that I wondered, okay, if he was here, what kind of father would he have been? You know, um, would he have been really, really protective? And I just painted what I wish that he could, what he, you know, wish that he could have been. My mom and his family lost contact. Um, it wasn't until I was in my 20s that, um, that I found my family and found out that they had been looking for me as well and we've reconnected. I've met so many people that have told me so many things about what happened to my father that I didn't know before and I'm still learning things. I paint to inspire people so it's like if it's therapeutic for me in the process then I hope it's also therapeutic for other people to experience it.